SAPEHSM, Environment, Health, and Safety Management, Interview Questions and Answers. What is SAPEHSM? SAPEHSM, Environment, Health, and Safety Management, is an application within the SAP suite that helps organizations manage environmental, health, and safety-related processes and compliance. What are the key modules in SAP EHSM? The main modules in SAP EHSM include Incident Management, Occupational Health, Product Safety, and Risk Assessment. How can you create an incident in SAP EHSM? Incidents can be created manually by users or automatically through integration with other systems. In EHSM, Navigate to Incident Management and use the Create Incident transaction to enter incident details. What is the purpose of an agent in SAP EHSM? An agent in SAP EHSM represents an individual or a team responsible for processing specific EHSM tasks, such as incident investigation or risk assessment. How can you track the status of an incident in SAP EHSM? You can track the status of an incident through various stages using the processing status field in the incident record. What is an exposure assessment in SAP EHSM? Exposure assessment in EHSM is used to identify and assess potential hazards or risks associated with specific work environments or tasks. How can you link an exposure assessment to a risk assessment in SAP EHSM? Exposure assessment and risk assessment can be linked through the Reference Objects tab of the Risk Assessment Transaction in EHSM. What is Product Safety in SAP EHSM? Product Safety in EHSM deals with managing and documenting product-related compliance and safety information, such as Material Safety Data Sheets (MSDS). How can you handle regulatory reporting in SAP EHSM? SAP EHSM provides tools to generate and submit regulatory reports required for environmental and safety compliance. What is a phrase in the context of SAP EHSM? In EHSM, a phrase refers to predefined texts used for reporting purposes, often included in templates like incident notifications or safety data sheets. Explain the concept of specified substance in SAP EHSM. Specified substance in EHSM represents a hazardous material or substance with specific properties that require detailed documentation and regulatory compliance. How can you manage hazardous substances in SAP EHSM? Hazardous substances are managed through EHSM's product safety module, where you can create and maintain material master records with safety data. What is the purpose of using work area in SAP EHSM. A work area in EHSM represents a specific location or section within a facility where tasks or activities are performed, and safety data needs to be tracked separately. How can you configure EHSM workflows in SAP? EHSM workflows can be configured using the SAP Business Workflow SWF, tool, which enables you to define the sequence of activities and approvals. What is the difference between basic data and expert data in EHSM product safety? Basic data in product safety refers to general material information, while expert data contains more specific data, such as regulatory details or toxicological data. How can you set up an emergency response plan in SAP EHSM? Emergency response plans can be created in EHSM using the Emergency Preparedness and Response module, where you define actions and responsibilities for different scenarios. What is World War I in SAP EHSM? World War I stands for Workbench for Word and Phrase Templates, a tool used in EHSM to create templates for generating reports, such as Safety Data Sheets (SDS). How does SAP EHSM integrate with other SAP modules like SAP EHS? SAP EHSM can integrate with other SAP modules through standard interfaces or middleware, ensuring data consistency and real-time information exchange. Can you explain the concept of near-miss in SAP EHSM incident management? A near-miss 
in EHSM refers to an incident where an unplanned event occurred, nearly causing an injury or damage, but luckily didn't result in any harm. What is the role of safety observations in SAP EHSM? Safety observations in EHSM allow employees to report potential safety hazards or observations related to safety practices, contributing to proactive safety measures. How can you ensure EHSM data security and authorization control? EHSM data security can be managed through SAP's role-based authorization concept, granting specific access to authorized users for different EHSM transactions. Explain the purpose of checklist management in SAP EHSM. Checklist management in EHSM enables organizations to define and execute structured checklists for various processes, ensuring compliance with predefined safety procedures. Can EHSM handle multi-language support for reporting and data entry? Yes, EHSM supports multi-language functionality, allowing users to enter data, generate reports, and view content in various languages. What is the significance of classification in EHSM product safety? Classification in EHSM product safety involves assigning regulatory-specific labels or classifications to materials based on their hazardous properties. How can you monitor EHSM performance and compliance using reporting tools? SAP EHSM provides various reporting tools and analytics that allow organizations to monitor performance, track compliance metrics, and identify areas for improvement. How can you perform an incident investigation in SAP EHSM? Incident investigation in EHSM involves analyzing the root cause and contributing factors of an incident. You can use tools like the five whys technique or the fishbone diagram to identify causes and actions for prevention. Explain the concept of risk assessment in SAP EHSM. Risk assessment in EHSM is the process of evaluating potential risks associated with specific tasks or activities. It helps in identifying control measures to mitigate risks and ensure safety. What is the purpose of action management in SAP EHSM? Action management in EHSM is used to track and manage corrective and preventive actions resulting from incident investigations, audits, or risk assessments. How can you perform Safety Data Sheet SDS, management in SAP EHSM? Safety Data Sheet Management involves creating, updating, and distributing SDS for hazardous materials. SAP EHSM provides functionalities for generating SDS based on regulatory requirements. Can EHSM handle compliance reporting for different environmental regulations? Yes. SAP EHSM supports compliance reporting for various environmental regulations, enabling organizations to meet their legal obligations. What is the role of permits management in SAP EHSM? Permits management in EHSM allows organizations to manage permits, licenses, or authorizations required to conduct specific activities within legal and regulatory limits. How can you track and report on key EHSM performance indicators? SAP EHSM offers reporting and analytics tools to track and report on key performance indicators, KPIs, such as incident frequency rate, compliance status, and safety training completion. Mm -hmm.